Hello, my friends, and welcome back to The Long Dark on our Interloper playthrough. This is episode 89. We're going to go ahead and resume our game. Man, all I can think about is food. All right, let's get a drink. All right, okay, guys, so we left off here in the airport at the Forsaken Airfield. And it sounds like we do have quite a storm going on outside. Quite a storm. Let's check the time of day. Looks like it's just morning. So we should have plenty of time to uh, let the weather warm up. We can wait for the storm to pass. Got a little bit of lag there. Looks like we do have a car battery. We might need that. Um, I think there might be one of those transmitter towers or something somewhere around here. Got plenty of fuses. You know, let's move this over here, right where we can see it. We can trip over it. Now, did we already search this building? I think we, I think we may have already come in here. There's nothing in here anyway. There are lots of vehicles and uh, aircraft all over the place but I think we'll wait till the storm passes oh here's the transmitter right here oh wow okay I thought it would be like a big tower somewhere um, interesting I did see some metal over here I don't don't know if it's gonna let us fix it right now let's grab the car battery okay Swap out the battery with the new one we just found. Looks like they're just kind of teaching us what to expect, maybe on the future transmitters, because we got to repair a bunch of these all over. Okay, we can repair the fuse. Nice, that's cool animation. I really like that. Uh, how many metal parts do we need? Do I have enough? Okay. It's like she knows what she's doing. Um, what else do we need? Like wires? I think we might need, uh, need wires or something. Metal parts. Um, battery. I think I need to put uh, wires in here somewhere. Uh, at any rate, guys, I am taking damage, so let's go inside. Play around with that a little bit later. Have a look around here. I don't remember if we searched everything or not. It was uh, it was pretty dark. It was, it was an aurora, I think, the last time we came in here. So let's look around. Ooh, gotta take care of our hunger. That's right. So we have plenty of cattails. It just takes a long time to eat them all. Um, I am kind of worried that we will run out, though. It's down to 25. We should be fine for right now, but I'm, I'm hoping we find some more food. Be nice if I could just queue up um, eating a whole bunch of these. So I could just, you know, instead of clicking one at a time, we could just eat a whole bunch until we're full. Now it says here add to radio. Let's see. Doesn't it already? It should, it should have already been in here. If I uncheck that, it's still there. I, I don't know why it. Uh, don't know why it said that. Looks like we got lots of coffee. 
Okay, that's probably good for now. Got some more wires. You'd think the airport would uh, have lots of coffee. Uh, if we need to, we could pass some time once we're done looting. If the storm is still blowing around, I could probably just pass some time. Nice. I need food. What do we have here? A bandage? I'll take it. I think we're pretty good for uh, bandages already. Well, let's see what our bandage situation is like. Six? Yeah, we're pretty good there. When the weather clears up, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to trying to map, trying to figure out this, this territory and uh, see if there's any other places we need to explore. I think I can use this. Um, you know, I will put it over on the table. I don't think we need any spray paint, although it would be helpful for trying to figure out this new area. Do I, looks like I don't have any spray paint currently. Oh wait, I do I have one. Let's drop this one and we'll pick up that one. Got some old CRT TV screens. The glass on these old CRT screens is so tough, you know, I wonder if they got smashed in like with a hammer or a bullet or something, because those, those old CRT screens were really hard to break. It's got lots of cloth. Look at these old tape backups or tape data, I don't know, those great big servers or something. Okay, now... I think we've already looted everything up top. I'm not going to go back up there. We did a pretty thorough job looking around. Okay, I did pick up some more wires. I'm going to see if I can repair this now. It's got battery, metal parts. Did I. What am I missing here? Repair wires, there we go. Okay, let's switch it on. Okay. Uh, complete objective, repair transmitter outside Forsaken Airfield Control Tower. J for more info. Okay, so we repaired that one. Go ahead and close the door. And man, it is so it is cold. cold. So cold. Okay, let's take a look at our current situation of clothing, food, etc. Uh, medical's looking okay. Um, I don't have any medical bandages. Hopefully I have some. Do I have any of the, uh, oh good, okay. Old man's beard, that's what I was trying to think of. It's nice we got lots of down. We may need to repair our, um, our uh, bedroll. Let's see, 88%, yeah, definitely we need to repair that. 45 minutes, back up to 100%. I should also check our uh, insulation. I may not even have it on. 
Yeah, you guys were, were doing so good to tell me. Hey, take off your crampons. I don't know how long I've had those on, but uh, I really should put on our insulation. Insulation's looking good at 92%. Don't really have a need for the crampons, but that insulation hopefully will help a little bit in uh, keeping us warm. I would like to repair this bearskin coat as soon as I have a chance. Rabbit skin mitts are getting a little bit low. Should repair those. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and repair our thermal underwear. Okay, let's check on how much cloth we have. Eight cloth, two leather. You know, I, I don't think we need two leather. The only leather we really need is for the, uh, the moose hide satchel. So I think I'll drop drop one of those. It's nice. We do have a cured rabbit pill. What was the condition of our mitts? 89, 89 percent. Okay. And the hat was 93. Okay, I've got a few cured guts if we need them as well. It's nice the transmitter doesn't weigh anything. I was actually kind of worried about the weight on that. It's just one more thing to carry, but it's actually nice. It's uh, zero kilograms. I was very thoughtful of them to do that. I'm going to drop the replacement fuse. Um, I don't think we need to carry it around. And looks, I think we do have a pot. So I'm going to drop this other. Yeah, we got our pot right here. Could probably drop our wires. Otherwise, guys, I think I think everything is fine. Everything else is fine. We could drop those. I don't need to harvest them. We don't need the leather. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good. Now we just need to uh, wait out this storm. Might actually just pass some time. Um, let's see if we can craft up anything. Here, I got some rose hips we could craft up. Well, guys, I just finished making a series of videos about uh, defeating the Dark Walker. Um, if you haven't seen those, you should uh, please go check them out. They're a lot of fun, actually. I had a really good time. I think there was uh, four, maybe four episodes. Uh, where we attempted to defeat the Dark Walker. Uh, and it was actually my uh, second recorded attempt. Um, the first attempt was not successful, but uh, I'll let you guys watch this other attempt. And uh, it is highly entertaining. If you haven't seen it, uh, go check it out. I, th I think you'll like it. Um, gosh, guys, I think I just need to pass time. I could uh, We could harvest this up while we're waiting. Okay, let's just pass time because uh, that that storm is not letting up. You know, I'm going to open the doors and kind of keep an eye on what's going on here. And uh, let's just pass some time here. Let's get a drink. Go for another hour. It's really quite the storm. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Um, really quite the storm out there. Okay, past another hour. Okay. Just keep going. Having enough food, I'm really kind of worried about that, especially if we're going to have to pass all this time. 
Oh yeah, nice. Looks like it finally did let up. At least enough for us to kind of see what's going on here. <laughs> I'm so used to playing the Dark Walker that uh, I was actually trying to pick out uh, pick up my revolver. That's funny. It's been so long since uh, since I've been able to use the revolver. Okay, now where are we? Did I already map this particular location? Let's see if it will let me map here. It is really cold though. Let me step inside here, see if we can map from the inside. Oh yeah, we did map. That's right, I did map from the top of the tower. Okay. Looks like this is the end of the road in this direction, or the runway. Is this just a runway? So, you know, let's head over to this um, airplane first. Try to do this systematically. Okay, so this is the runway. Hopefully they give us some food. Not a whole lot going on in this airplane. Alright, we'll check this back panel. Okay, nothing. Is this like a little shack or something? Gotta warm it's up got somehow. a burned out trailer. What is that? Oh, it's a strap. Okay. I've never felt so cold in my life. One tinder plug. That's all they had. Okay, is there anything else down this way? Who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. It's like we do have some wildlife over here. So there's that option for food. So I, we should be okay, I think. Okay, we already searched this larger building, I think. We did a pretty good job searching that. But I don't think I checked out the helicopter. So we'll head over here, check the helicopter. Of course the wind is right in, in our face. I'm gonna check around the back side of the hangar. I'll just make sure I didn't miss anything. Got some stairs. Looks like I already checked out this car. Oh, so I already checked this all out. Okay. Is there anything over here? Looks like we got a door. Let's see if I can go in there. We'll warm up a bit. I think I may have left some loot here as well. I really do enjoy this uh, hangar. Looks amazing. I 
I think our pile of loot is over here. Let's get a drink. Did I search this already? Yeah. Okay, so we do have some cattails. Nice. Okay, so I did have a bunch. That's good. I'm going to pick these up. Um, so what does that leave us with? Back up to 30 cattails. So maybe I will leave the rest of those. Drop some of these things I just picked up, like the metal. And uh, I think we picked up... Did we pick up another fuse or wires or something? Uh, spray can, that's right. Okay, so we're down to just one liter of water. Need to make some more water pretty soon. And did I ever check the basement? I don't remember if I checked the basement or not. Let's see what's down here. Ooh, it's really deep. Did I come down here? Hangar basement. I don't think I've been down here yet. Memo. Let you pause and read that if you like. It's nice they got a crafting table or a workbench. Oh, we got a we got a forge. I did not expect that. I wonder if there's a uh, hammer anywhere near here. Well, maybe I'll put some, I'll leave some coal here. Um, where's our fire? There we go. Um, I believe four of them. And we've got a bed. Okay. Is there anything up here? Okay, I think that's about it for the uh, for the airfield. You know, I don't really see us coming back here. Maybe I better take these. I really don't see us coming and using this forge. It's really out of the way. Did I go out? Oh, sorry. What? Oh, I thought it was a transition. Sorry, guys. I thought that was actually a transition zone. You actually just have to walk through it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do I want to leave coal here, though? I'm I'm just barely teetering on heavy. It's a problem. And I've dropped just about everything I want to. 
do have nine sticks we could draw. And then pretty much everything else, I think I want to keep. Um, we could refuel our lantern. Don't need those. Yeah, I think we're probably good. Um, let's continue searching. Oh, nice. Looks like we might have a beautiful sunset tonight. Let's use our low quality bow. You know, I really wouldn't mind getting one of these deer. Don't know how long we're gonna be here at the uh, the airfield or surrounding area. I would just feel a lot better having some meat stored up, and the weather conditions are perfect. Is that another building over there? Right in the center of our screen? Might just be rocks. I can see four deer. Which kind of makes me wonder if there's going to be any moose in this area. Make sure I'm using the right arrows. Oh, we got an aurora. Oh, that's not good. Oh, he moved right at the last second. Dang it, I hate searching for my arrows here. Let's see if I can get him to stop. There we go. Nice. All right, let's go get our other arrow. Thank you, dear. Um, let's see, I overshot him once. Didn't I? Didn't that just like come on right over here? How many arrows do we have here? One. I did overshoot him, guys. So it should be like over here. Where did it go? The other arrow should be like right here. I just barely missed him, I thought. Did I undershoot? Where the heck did that arrow go? Anyway, let's get a fire started. Um, let's see. Get some water cooking. Oh, so cold. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put another coal on. We'll stay down low.
Oh, we're so hungry, yeah. Let's see if this water's done. Yeah, it's done. Let's eat some food so we don't lose our well fed. I'm getting a little bit of lag there. It is nice to have all this meat here. Let's eat up. Get a drink. Okay, so if a storm blows in, I'm going to orient myself here. We got the uh, deer kind of laying facing the uh, tower there. It's happened many times when I'm harvesting up animals and then a, a blizzard comes in. Of course, during the aurora, it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, seven minutes. Thirteen minutes. Okay, Twenty minutes on the uh, on the meat there. And grab a gun while we're waiting. Five minutes. Okay, the fire just blew out. So I think it's time to go. Let's grab what we can. Um, very likely we will possibly run into a wolf. I'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. Okay. I think the torch is gonna blow out, but I'll try it. Could come across an Aurora wolf. And that's okay. It's really not that far.
course, the torch isn't going to help me much against the Aurora Wolves, is it? So I'll just have to use the bow if I have to. It is beautiful here, though, guys. Living dangerously. Um, I'm I'm totally willing to drop all my meat and run for it if we have to. But I think we're okay. We're just so close. Nice. Looks like we just made it. Um, you know, I'm going to drop the meat outside. Uh, we'll drop the cooked meat in here, I guess. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. So we can, we really can eat it anywhere it is. Let's go ahead and eat up first, then I'll, I'll drop the rest of it outside. Take the gut so we can drop that inside. Okay, ooh, let's uh, let's put down our guts and the pelt to cure before I forget. You know, with all those deer, this uh, this probably could be a pretty good base. It's extremely remote, you know, from uh, from everywhere else, but um, it's, it seems like it has a lot of resources. If we needed to, um, we could probably find a lot of uh, a lot of fuel, you know, to like uh, make water and cook things and stuff. There's all these crates and wood, all the trees. Um, I'll just let this burn out. Whoa. Let me grab the cooked meat. I'm going to separate it. I'll put the cooked meat over here. And then, you know, I, I want to keep exploring. Except for the Aurora. It's the only problem. You know what? Let's just go to bed. Let's play it safe. Let's go to bed. Um, now I'm, I'm curious if there's anything worth seeing in here. You know, I'm going to drop this coal just so we're lightweight for now. Let's just drop all of it. Keep three just as an emergency, but I want to move a little quicker. See if there's any computers we need to read in, in, in the Aurora. Anything we're checking out? You know, I wonder if those pontoons have uh, storage storage locations. Do have more cloth if we need it. I'm kind of weary of these wires. Can I step on them. Okay. No storage compartments in the pontoons that I can see. Uh, 
It's like we do have some computer screens, but none of them have anything. Uh, nothing interesting. There's no shortage of scrap metal here. That's for sure. Have I been upstairs yet? I don't remember coming upstairs. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I think I would have remembered a view like that. Cured leather. And cherry can. I'm gonna light the uh, lantern. I got plenty of oil. It's gonna make it so much easier to uh, to loot. If we have a light. Hey, we got a kitchen. that? Camber Flight Porridge. Looks like we've got a recipe. One of these days we will... Uh, I'd like to learn how to cook all these recipes. so bright with the lantern. Okay, got a candy bar. Rooms. Ooh, shower. I know Astrid would love that. It's been so long since she's had a hot, hot shower. I would do anything for a drink right now. Would you drink out of a toilet? We can do that. Take it all, drop it down below. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Is that everything? Okay. Definitely hear the electricity in here. It seems extra loud. Okay, got lots of cloth. Is that everything? Okay. It's a little better. If I try to if I try to place the lantern like this, it seems like it is so much better than than having the, the glaring lamp like right out in front of me. Gonna shock me, are you? Is 
Ooh. Don't like those wires. Is it gonna hurt me? Oh, hey, look at that, guys. Wonder what the story is behind that. It's gotta be some kind of story with the uh, teddy bear. Why would they have a teddy bear in a hangar? You know, I bet this place is really full of loot in the uh, lower difficulties. You know, that floppy disk, for some reason that just reminded me of the first floppy disk I ever purchased uh, as a kid. Oh, hey, we've got some kind of paper. Let's read it. Stained paper. I'll let you read that. Don't think it has any significance. Um, anyway, the, uh, the first uh, floppy disk I ever purchased, it was uh, Lemmings. First computer we ever purchased for our family. We didn't have any games, you know, it's just like a word processor and uh, office tools and things. So I went to the software store. All I could afford was the uh, bargain bin software on our old Packard Bell computer. Uh, but it was Lemmings. It's a, that was a great game. It's a puzzle, puzzle based game. Okay, nice. It led us right back to where we want to be here. I can drop all of our stuff. I'm going to pick up the paint and uh, let's kind of organize this stuff, I guess. Um, can we get the fuse? Just move that a little bit. Okay, let's put out. Let's put this out. We can drop our metal that we picked up. And then we got a stack of wood. We got more metal, okay. And then rope, okay. Let's drop our wood here. And I'm going to put the cloth here. We don't need 15 cloth. Do we need 8 cloth? Maybe I'll drop one more. Okay. I think it's about time to go to sleep. 
pretty sure we looted everything. I might be missing something, but I think we did a pretty good job. I'll head down here. Looks a lot better with the lights on. Just want to be careful of the wires. Alright, we got our mattress. Let's go ahead and get a drink. And I don't I don't know if we need to sleep for ten hours, but uh we'll try uh what do you think, eight hours? Go for eight hours. See where that leads us. Okay, let's get a drink. Oh, I gotta remember to drop the jerry can I'm carrying. Hopefully the weather is pretty nice, we can keep exploring. Seems like this place has lots of good loot. Morning hangers. This reminds me of the uh, museum in uh, Tucson, Arizona. They got a massive, probably the biggest, I would think, biggest Air Force museum. There are so many airplanes. Just huge hangar after hangar, just packed full of airplanes. And then they have all these airplanes out, uh, just out exposed. Of course, uh, the Tucson desert is perfect for for these airplanes because there's low humidity and uh, just preserves them pretty well. But uh, yeah, I've been down there. I think I told you one of my sons is interested in being a pilot, but he just loved. <laughs> Guys, I gotta tell you, we took we took my son to this uh, museum in Tucson with all these uh, airplanes. We spent the whole day there, and he still wanted to stay, so we we left him there. Um, by himself and uh, you know, I think he was 16 at the time he, he just wanted to stay with these airplanes we left him there and we we continued doing touristy kinds of things in Tucson well he stayed the whole day uh, into the evening at this uh, Air Force Museum just loving all those airplanes all right let's drop this um, you know actually I should probably refuel my lantern before we drop that where's my lantern But uh, yeah, he's he's going to school, uh, looking into colleges now for uh, aircraft piloting. Trying to find the best place. He's got the grades, you know. He'll probably get a uh, probably get a scholarship somewhere. Okay, there's a nice little stash area here, and uh, we can drop these. That's right. Gotta drop these guys. Drop that. Get this out, and then we can go go loot some more. How much water am I carrying, by the way? I did cook up a bunch. Yeah, let's drop some of this. Let's drop three liters. And we we'll probably drop our potato and stuff like that. I want to drop this here. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it with us. We'll leave these here though. Okay, get down low just in case. Okay, weather's not too bad.
Okay, I can hear the crows. Oh, look at that. There was five crows. You know, in this game, it seems like when it comes to crows, five is the most you can have. Never more. Okay, got an airplane and a helicopter. And some lockers. Guess I'll put this away. So once we're done looting the airfield, uh, I'm really not sure which direction we should head. Oh, I got some cloth there. Not quite sure which direction we should head. Um, I want to kind of map out the area, or at least make sure there's nowhere else to go. Would be kind of nice to find a, a heavy hammer. make some more arrows possibly although uh, we, we would need some more um, need some more shafts okay. speaking of arrows I should probably try to find that other arrow that I lost last night when I, uh, I shot that deer I couldn't find the arrow anything in here Okay, let's check out the helicopter. I need to find some place to escape this cold. Can you go inside? Yeah, I would think a nice luxury helicopter like this would be uh, heavily insulated, you know, to try to dampen the noise. This is like a luxury helicopter. They probably have it really insulated. I'm surprised it's not a little bit warmer inside there. Oh, scrap lead. Interesting. And cloth. I never really thought to check the little baskets here. You know, I probably should drop the lead. I can't imagine we need any lead for for anything. Right, let's check the airplane. Get a drink. Don't see any wolves. That's good. I think I can use this. Okay. Dirty check up here. 
Yeah, I think I did. Okay. Check out these vehicles. I'm kind of curious what that house is. the raven all right let's see what's in here oh they've got no, another vehicle Okay, let's head in this building. Did hear some wolves in the distance. Oh, nice. Got our travel posters. You guys know I love those. I think they did a really good job. North Charters. Looks like somebody's Louis Vuitton luggage. Well, this stuff will come in handy. Fancy shoes. Just, uh, just for the outside. Yeah. Ooh, wow. It's actually a nice view. Is that a rabbit? All right, got to get the rabbit. How did I miss him? Starting to feel numb. All right, we'll stay inside. Nice and warm. We're not hurting for meat after that deer kill. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Uh, it just would be nice to get that rabbit uh, skin curing for the future. Simple parka. Okay. We'll take it. Oh, I already checked that one. Okay. Is that everything? That is our very first flare shell, guys. Of the entire game. Here we are, episode 89. This is my very first flare shell. So thank you, Flare Shell. We could use maybe 
10 more like you. I don't even know where I left the, uh, the, the distress pistol. Take all the water, may as well bring it back to our main location. Pill 31. Okay, I think we've pretty much looted everything. Yeah, we got the luggage area, we got the restrooms. I wonder what's behind this wall here. Or is it just. Is so it just the way the building... Oh, okay. Nothing behind the wall. Beautiful day. I wonder if we can see anything. Maybe if I go to the uh, top of the tower, could we see which direction to go? Oh, hey, there's a rabbit right there. How do I keep missing these guys? It's because I'm using the bow and arrow, that's why. There's one fast rabbit. Oh, come down, rabbit. Huh. I gotta remember to aim. What is that? Do I have any rocks left? No. Dang it. I think my rock went behind the pallet. <sighs> Gotta manually select the uh, low quality bow, I guess. Rabbit, calm down. I'd take a chance. Gotta warm up somehow. Okay, now where? Oh, there it is. It's poor rabbit, guys. the rabbit. Getting a little bit of lag there. Let's head up to the top of the tower, guys. I want to see if we can see. I'd like to see where we're supposed to be going. And uh, hopefully from the top of the lookout we can actually see the area. Honestly, I have no idea what we're looking for or where we're going. I might just go like around the mountains. So we came from that direction behind the uh, the hangar. It looks like I think we came from that direction. So we could just kind of wander around the edge of the map and uh, maybe over there, straight across the airfield. That looks like it might be an opening. Just looks like a bit uh, just looks like a big valley to me. 
I really didn't see any prominent landmarks or anything. Okay, I gotta remember to pick up some more rocks. Um, I'll take all this stuff back to our main main location. Can I pick you up? There we go. All right, let's head back to our main location. Main base. Huh, poor rabbit. He's just stuck on like an L shape here. There we go. Sorry, rabbit. This place is full of rabbits. There we go. Sure getting cold. And we get a rock as well. Sounds like if we do travel over that way, sounds like there are wolves over that hill. Which actually makes me think that's the way we're supposed to go. Just through, you know, through the wolves. They probably did that on purpose. Alright, yeah, let's head back into the, uh, the hangar here. And we'll uh, get ready for departing. As far as I can tell, we've already looted everything here, so we will uh, gather up our loot and figure out which direction we're going to head off into. We'll harvest these rabbits inside. drop these guys. I'd like to get their pelts. I'd like to get their pelts curing if nothing else. Um yeah I'll just use the axe oh that's fine. Yeah so uh I was thinking about Arizona the uh, and Tucson. It seemed like there was always overhead. There was always two A-10 Warthog aircraft circling overhead at any time. You know, it's like a uh, it's like a uh, Air Force town or Air Force. I think there's a really big Air Force museum or uh, not museum, Air Force base. Yeah, Air Force base there. 28 minutes. Okay. They also have, I think every year, they have, or is it every year? They have a, a world famous rock uh, show, like a gem gem show for rare rare rocks and gems and, uh, you know, crystals and all kinds of things. From You know, people all over the world come there to display and buy and sell and trade their, uh, their rare rocks and gem, uh, gemstones. Okay, I don't need the, the guts from these guys. I'll put them outside. Don't think I need the guts. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do the guts. May as well. Since I, I do have the one set of guts here. Yeah, the one gut curing. I may as well just get the guts off these guys. May as well put them to use. Got another Aurora? The sun's not even down yet. 
Is that like the glimmer? Glimmer fog? I want to see this. All right, let's get the guts. I'm going to drop the guts and I want to see what's outside. Because the sun is still up. Why are we getting electrical activity? All right, let's drop these guts. Where are your guts? And then we'll drop the hides. Um, where'd the other rabbit hide go? Didn't I already have... Did I already have another rabbit hide curing? No, I guess not. Okay, we'll drop. Okay, I want to see what's going on out here. So what? Let's drop these, uh, the meat. Oh, it's a glimmer fog, right? Is that, is that what they call it? Yeah, I've never seen that. Sounds amazing though. So I guess we probably can't sleep when the uh, glimmer fog is happening. That's crazy. It doesn't hurt us, does it? Definitely don't want to travel during this. Is it passing? Well, the sun is going down. This actually wouldn't be a terrible time to travel. Um, except for I'm kind of worried about the fog. It seems like it seems like also there's an elevated chance for an aurora in this territory. So gosh, I don't know. I really don't know what we're gonna do. Do you have the crafting bench downstairs? I could maybe try to get another deer hide. That one's already at 16%. That's pretty good, actually. Um, I did want to try to find our arrow. Let's drop our water. We've got tons of water. And yeah, we did pick up a bunch of food. That's nice. I'm going to need that food when we go traveling. Okay, let's get out our bow. Did I pick up all the arrows? Seems like I'm still missing one. I was kind of hoping that was a rock. What is that? There's like a red light on the snow for a second there. Yeah, like that. It's so bizarre. Okay, I'm looking for a fire pit. But I also don't want to get lost. It was over here by the trees, wasn't it? Oh, I think I have to go farther. Is that it?
Okay, I might want to turn around. I really don't want to get lost in this glimmer fog. I need to find some place to escape this cold. Yeah, let's head back. Is that our fire pit? All right, we found it. Okay, good. And we have more deer. Let's see if we can get this one. It's a buck. I got him. Where's my arrow? Is that it? That's where we hit him. Okay. Where did my other arrow go? There it is. Okay, it would be nice to find that guy uh, in the morning. Well, here's our other kill. Let's look around real quick, see if we can find the other arrow. It's interesting black on there. Okay, I shot him like this direction. Why can't I find the arrow? It's dusk, so I can't be far behind. It's gotta be like right here. It couldn't have gone very far. Looks like the uh, glimmer fog is clearing up. Yeah, I think I've gone way farther than where the arrow would have gone. Guys, I just don't know what happened to the uh, to the arrow. Is that it? <gasps> yeah, nice. Well, I'm really glad to see that. Okay, we are taking damage. Um, I think we would we should be fine in the morning. We will. I think we'll regain all of that back. It's way too windy to try to get anything else done out here too, so I'm just gonna head back now. We should be nice and sleepy for the night. What's that? It's just a stick? I actually thought that was a deer or something. I haven't actually seen any wolves in the uh, in the airfield. I wonder if they come in inside the uh, the boundaries here. Hmm. 
Now, how's the? Uh, we do have a we do have a windshield right here. Protection from the wind. We could cook up the rest of our meat. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Let's get the rest of this meat cooked up. So I'm gonna want to eat some of that tomorrow when we uh, when we set off on our trip. Yeah, we don't need any more water. Got so much water from all the toilets and stuff. I wonder how many fire hardened arrows we have. I might want to craft up some more of those. Six? Okay, that's actually not too bad. I think we're going to sleep really well tonight. Okay, let's add some more fuel. Three minutes. Okay. Probably need a bunch of uh, torches before we head out as well. I hope the wind doesn't blow out our fire. some of these up again. I think we got a, a few good torches out of that. Yeah, we've got, uh, got about four good torches. That might be enough. Meat is cooked.
May as well cook these guys up as well. Yeah. Get all the meat nice and cooked up. Even just heading out of here, if we were to head back to uh, to the main the main territories, we would probably want a bunch of food before we head out. So I'm really glad to have all this meat. Keep hearing kind of strange noises. I don't know if it's just the wind or what. How's our tea looking? Looks like we're doing pretty good for tea. All right, let's head inside. Okay, I did notice I have a bunch of medicine we could drop. I don't know if I'd ever need these antibiotics. Now that we've got cooking level uh, five, I guess if you accidentally eat some bad food or water, maybe might be good to have. Uh, but we could. I think the uh, the reishi mushrooms do the same thing. Let's see. Drop that. What else did I pick up? Got the torches we can drop. Okay, let's head over here. Okay, I think that's good. Probably just head down and call it a night. See if we can rest up and regain a bunch of our uh, our health. I make. I think I'll take some of this water downstairs. I'll leave it by the the bed. Nice thing about using this bed is it's not going to put wear and tear on our down uh, bedroll. So let's, uh, let's see. Let's get a drink and then I'll drop a couple liters here. All right. Let's see if we can regain our health. I don't think we'll regain all of it, but we should regain most of it, I think. 
Yeah, just about. I think if I really was staying here in the hangar, I would drag that bedroll up here. I don't think I'd keep it in the basement. I'd want to have it up where the daylight could, could shine. All right, well, I think we are going to be heading out now. Um, assuming the weather cooperates. And guys, I think this is a great place to call it an episode as well. Um, in the very next episode, I'm hoping to, to launch out of here. And, you know, I wish we could take one of these planes or, or uh, helicopters just so we could get an aerial view of this territory. I really don't know which direction we're going to be heading. Um, so I want to make sure I have enough cloth so we could make a, uh, a snow shelter if we need to. Because uh, it's very likely I'm going to get stuck out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but at any rate, I do want to kind of explore and make sure I'm not missing anything in this territory. Uh, so I hope you'll come along with me, guys. I, I do enjoy your company, and uh, as always, your comments are much appreciated. If you're enjoying the playthrough, please let me know. Leave a comment, uh, or even just a thumbs up. Um, and of course, a subscription would greatly be appreciated. It certainly does help out the channel. Um, so thank you, guys, and I do hope to catch you guys in the next episode. Take care.